So we've got very hard lighting. I am going to be doing a get ready with me while I'm talking to you guys. This video is something that I saw on Twitter. I saw it linked to on Twitter, so I decided to read it out and then give you my opinion. Nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. Let me tell you what skinny feels like to me. Skinny was exhaustion like I've never felt before. Skinny was fear of anyone, even my family looking at me. Skinny was crying at the dinner table, being screamed of. ED drowned out my ple the pleas of my family. Skinny was excruciating rib pain and stomach pain. And that made me double over and beg for relief. Skinny was being unable to sing at my idol's concert because my throat was burned from my own self-destruction. Skinny was de being disappointed when I woke up every morning. Skinny was panic attacks that made me want to and try to claw my own eyes out. Skinny was guilt and, self and a self-disgust. When my mother held me and cried because her daughter was dying every minute because after all that she truly believed that nothing tastes as good as skinny for yours well i had a slice of cake yesterday and let me tell you what it tasted like it tasted like freedom from shackles i'd have imprisoned me for five years they said the strength that vomiting and starvation could never have given me nothing tastes as good as skinny feels bullshit so i found that i was at the talk today about eating disorder and how life ruining they are and what better way to do that than to film and get ready with me to anyone who doesn't Don't know let me history of eating disorders. I was initially diagnosed as anorexic and I'm currently diagnosed with EDNOS which is eating disorder not otherwise specified. For me that means I either go through phases of binge eating or phases of starvation. Currently I'm in one of the bingey phases. I'm in a bingey phase at the moment. It's not great. My body doesn't like it too much. I need to sort my makeup boxes back out. I'm not doing much makeup. I'm meeting up with one of my friends today. When it comes to me at the moment with my eating disorder, I'm struggling with it. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that it's all a-okay, you know. I mean, when I was in hospital the other day, that was because of an overdose. But the sugar levels, they were low because I hadn't been eating. And it's scary because like, I know the long-term damage that eating disorders cause. I know and I understand that. So why I still proceeded to do it, I don't know. And I can't justify it. Like, I wish I could justify it because then I could like understand it myself. Life doesn't work like that. Hmm, I think this one might be a bit too dark for my skin. I keep doing that, I keep buying the wrong shade of foundation. I'm a problem. I will point out I never pay full price for my high-end stuff. I go to TK Maxx and I get it there because it's you know cheaper you know i'm not made of money so gotta do what you gotta do people are wondering what i'm doing to my face this is just how i do my makeup i know it's not the right way when it comes to eating disorders they manifest themselves in different ways shapes and forms and for me like i said i go from binging to starving the thing is i'm trying to like really get grips of it this year like i'm trying so hard be like i'm fine you know you know i'm i'm fine don't need like help but it's also like i know i need help with it because i already know that i can't do it on my own that's why i struggle so much with it because when it comes to eating disorders i don't know in other countries but i know in the uk if you're not on death store and you're not dying you're not getting to see the eating disorder you're not you're not under eating disorder team. I've been under eating disorder teams in the past and it did really help me. I was under them when I was dealing with anorexia and it did help. Like the support they gave me, they gave me confidence to eat again because I just, I stopped eating. I, I just didn't eat and even when I wanted to, I couldn't bring myself to do it because if I did, I'd be sick. Eating disorders are deadly. Like eating disorders are one of the most deadly psychiatric illnesses out there. Like I said, currently I'm diagnosed with eating disorder not otherwise specified, which just me, which which is basically a mixture of bulimia and anorexia like you basically do both and i think it's different for everyone but i think that's like the main criteria for it i've had that diagnosis pretty much since i hit a healthy weight because i've never like fully recovered with eating disorder it's like i've always had issues with food and you know what i probably always will because they don't just go away and they're extremely hard to deal with i'm not trying to get rid of it forever i'm trying to make life livable again when i saw that post I, it felt so true to what i go through because i remember it's like starving and my family would beg me to eat it was hard and it was emotional you know what i mean like because eating sort of gets such high grips on you like you, you can't fight them off on your own when i was reading that poem it did struck right it was like you know it it hit reality very hard currently i'm using the jeffree star thing lip gloss that louise sent me Shout out to Louise. Eating disorders don't have a look. They don't have, you don't have to look a certain way to have an eating disorder. Because eating disorders come in all shapes and sizes. And I notice that people say, oh, you're fat, you can't have an eating disorder. And it's like, one, I know I put weight on. Don't need to point that out. There's more than just anorexia when it comes to eating disorders. Like, there's so much more to it. And I think that's so important to say. So I feel like, well, I do. I feel like it, it consumes a lot of my life. It is consuming and it is 
debilitating and you know what it's fucking hard like it is hard to go through it's hard to you know recover from an eating disorder because they take such hard grips on everything that you do they make you feel like you're something you're not they turn you into this monster that you never thought you'd be and when it comes to food now i still struggle like i said last night i had a bingy moment yesterday like during the day i wasn't hungry like life just varies on such a high level that pretty much impossible to tell when someone's struggling like you can't just be like oh well, they can't be struggling because of this or because of this or because of this because you don't know what that person's going through you know like like i said eating disorders come in every shade every size say that just because someone's got a bit more weight on them than you that they don't have any eating you can't say to someone like your, your eating disorder is not valid because you're not this way with the eating disorder community there's a lot of competition of being like the lowest weight or the most sick and that part of it is fucking sickening because it is essentially encouraging people to be ill like that's i'm making a whole video talking about like the pro community and that winds me up you're gonna see very wound up me um the poem that i read at the start is so true nothing tastes as good as skinny feels is complete bullshit starving yourself is painful it's emotional it breaks you emotionally breaking like it hurt like physically it hurt you feel lost you feel like there's nothing you can do to change it and i wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy a bit of a little ramble about eating disorders so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope my face looks a bit presentable for the first time in a while and i'm gonna go thank you for watching thank you for being here and if you are new hit the subscribe button if you've got any questions you'd like me to read out in a q a that is coming soon leave them in the comments down below and i'll answer them as soon as i can thank you and goodbye